The Miep tilde quad decor example patch is an example of a panner application with some extended functionality, uh, audio decorrelation. So I've got two maps here that are doing basically the same thing. We've got four outer speaker nodes, four outer speaker nodes. The only difference is that these are silent nodes. Um, these silent nodes have virtual nodes in the middle to provide a slightly smoother um, fading space. Uh, interpolation space between the speaker nodes and the silent nodes. But other than that, they're both quad panners with a center node that is a fifth speaker node. And that fifth speaker node, if we look at this patch, we've got a panner with five outputs. That fifth speaker node, those first four speaker nodes are going to the DAC to, you know, supposedly one of four loudspeakers. The fifth speaker node is going through a sub patch, um, a decorrelation algorithm that is a slightly simplified version of what these authors did. I uh, published a paper in 2004, a critical band approach to audio signal decorrelation. So I've got a little sub patch doing audio decorrelation. I'm decorrelating it four times and then sending those on to the four, uh, the four um, DAC outputs going to the same four speakers. So essentially what I have here is a control space that lets me do a dry four channel pan and then as I move in towards the center it's um, basically doing a decorrelated spread to all of those four same speakers. So I've got an inner space and an outer space in a way. Um, since we only have two channels here, we're only listening to two channels, so you're not going to be able to hear the back channels, but I'll demonstrate this anyways. Okay. So I'm pan to the right map. There's the front, left, right. So you can hear that it gets wider. You're still hearing something back here because of that mix, that center channel decorrelated mix. So as soon as I go all the way outside, you won't hear anything because we're not passing signal to uh, the DACs that we're listening to, the DAC outputs.